Okay, so good morning. I hope you all had fun yesterday. I sure did. Uh, I am Annette. I work at Dirty Bit here in uh, Bergen. And I'm pleased that Lynn found a spot for me here at stage today because I wanted to try to share some of my enthusiasm for the, some of the good things that are going on in the scene for us uh, Norwegian game developers. So these are my uh, colleagues, um, awesome colleagues, and we are currently working on our third Fenron title. This is our office, and you probably passed it uh, yesterday because it's the party was down there somewhere. And um, uh, yeah, so we are in this program called uh, Spill Ut i Verden, or Games Go Global, which I'm going to talk a bit more about in a few minutes. And these are the eight companies that were selected to participate. So, uh, you've probably seen these guys before. They're in this uh, policy council for cultural and creative industries. Sounds very nice, and uh, the, the group is going to work to enhance our cultural and creative uh, competitiveness in, in Norway. And they have been working for a bit over a year now, and they still have a year left. And all of the, a lot of the suggestions that they uh, had has already been included in the state budget. And they said that actually more than they expected were included, so, so this is good. It's very nice that we have two representatives from the, the game industry in this uh, council. And uh, the last months we have seen more and more positive angled articles about the game, the Norwegian game development. Uh, and also global game development. And of course, uh, Pokemon Go success helped uh, opening people's eyes. And uh, yeah, we uh, appreciate that the press is now focusing uh, on the good sides and showing the economic uh, potential in this business. And uh, this is a bit to brag, but also to show that uh, game studios can also win awards. So we were nominated uh, for Rising Star, which is uh, companies that they believe in in yeah. the region. And we've competed with a lot of well-known industries and uh, yeah, we actually won it. So, so that's a that's very uh, good sign, I think. And of course, we are in console this year and there are a lot of cool people coming to, to Bergen, Norway. So, so that's also a good uh, sign. And we're getting invitations, and I'm um, sure some of you as well are getting invitations to, to speak at different events. Uh, we have been at least, and uh, we see that politicians are starting to invite us and others from, uh, from the industry to give advice. Uh, they're asking for our help and our opinions. And uh, you probably know these two. This is their majesties, the, the king and queen of Norway. And they sent me, uh, me an invite. Uh, it was very nice. It came in the, in the mail with a gold emblem and it was a uh, thick paper. It looked really exclusive. So they invited uh, some of the companies that are members of Virke, Spill Produsent Foreningen, to join the, the royalties on a state visit. And I think this is, yeah, this is the first time Somebody from the game industry were invited to travel with the king and queen to visit the president of Finland. Uh, so we, we went to Helsinki, and this is Bendik, you know from, Snow, from uh, Snowcastle Games, talking to the Minister of Trade and Industry, uh, who after this trip started to show real interest in the, in the industry. Yeah, we got to present on stage and you can see the silhouettes of the queen and the king sitting right in front of the stage listening to, uh, to our stories. Uh, Bendik was presenting uh, Earthlock and the company and some of the challenges being a Norwegian game developer. We made new friends. This is Jürgen from Megapop. And, and this is, uh, do you know Seriously, the Finnish uh, game developers? They're working on a game called Best Fiends, and they invited us to join their uh, office, and they shared a lot of their experience, just talking and drinking coffee, and we learned a lot and were very inspired by this. So even though it's fun to ga play games alone, it's even more fun to play games with the queen. Uh, so this is our queen, she's 79 years old, she's playing, I'm talking about Fun Run 2, and uh, she played it with the, yeah, 
you can see the king <laughs> uh, and the president of Finland. And uh, the lady in red there, she's the Minister of Transportation and Communication in Finland. And as you can see, they're having a, f a good time. And as you can see, I'm kind of shocked and also having a very good time. Uh, and of course, we planned for this, but we didn't know if it would, would happen. Uh, and yeah, you can see the, the, this is on the, the castle's website. And I've seen a lot of pictures of the king on, on his state visit. I've never seen, seen him like this, smiling and laughing and having a good time. So, yeah. And from all these companies that were there, uh, we had defense, health, uh, education, and the queen selected uh, me, someone from the game industry, to join her lunch table. So I got to sit and have lunch with the president and the queen for three hours or so. So yeah, he was kind of cool. He likes roller skating, so that's a fun fact. You probably didn't know. Uh, yeah. So after this trip, um, we saw a lot of uh, good attention. Um, and this is the, the government's website, uh, writing about uh, games. And yeah, this is again the Minister of Trade and Industry. There were a lot of good uh, attraction in uh, attention in the press. And we even made it to the evening news in Norway. So the Queen was playing Fun Run 2, which was yeah, kind of cool to see. So back to the program. Uh, last fall, uh, the Norwegian government announced that they would allocate 10 million Norwegian kroners to, to a pilot program. Uh, and these were the people that announced it. And, uh, I think a lot of people, uh, this is Margit from Innovation Norway, she and a few other people were the one who uh, started this process and got it approved and she's been a very uh, good uh, resource for us. And this is uh, from the launch of the program and this is the Minister of Culture and she had a talk and she talked about being a, a gamer when she was a kid and uh, expressing her uh, how, how she appreciated that this business is so good to share knowledge. We don't compete the same way as an under other industries uh, do. And this is uh, from the first meeting. You probably know one, some of these people and some of you are here. And uh, we've had a lot of meetings and uh, I took pictures from when we are eating and drinking wine and having good conversations. Uh, this is also in Bergen, and Juremi, which you, you he's si sitting over here, uh, talk, talking about the launch of Alboy. And um, yeah, they asked us if what kind of experts do you want us to, to get to, to, uh, to talk to you. And we discussed in the group, and we realized that there are so many talented people in this group. So we just let us meet, have conversations, do presentations for each other, and that's, that's what we want for now. And uh, all the companies signed a non-disclosure agreement, so we are a small group. We can uh, safely discuss uh, ma th things that matter for us. The, we select different topics, and the participants can... We have been talking about analytics and PR and launch strategies, and uh, we are sharing our networks and knowledge. And uh, yeah, experiences so far. I want to uh, invite Juremi from Deepad Studios on the stage here to share some of his experiences. Hello. Hi. So thank you for joining me here. So we've been in, in this program for uh, six months now. What do you think is the key benefits uh, so far? Well, uh, we've been talking a lot um, how uh, the different companies have like um, planned for showing the game uh, games around the world, which is something that we uh, really wanted to focus on because uh, Alboy, our our game, was uh, more popular in America before they even knew about it here in Norway, which is uh, kind of uh, why we we think it's really important that we like focus everywhere. Yeah. instead of just in Norway, you know. Yeah. We have been having a lot of good discussions, and I know that uh, I got some feedback from other parts of the group saying that they really appreciate the, 
the informal discussions that we have, just asking for advice. Mm. Uh, so what what is the what do you think if this program will be continued? What, what do you think will be most important? I think it's important that we continue to be like open with uh, with each other because um, we've we're kind of living on a secluded island and we never meet people, which is kind of weird when you suddenly have a lot of people that you can share ideas with and uh, especially tips on how to get your game out and stuff. Like a lot of these people that have been selected have been part of the Norwegian industry for ages. Like a lot of them actually are from Funcom and like the, the old guys, you know, so they have a lot of experience. Yeah. And yeah, we are kind of, we have stars in our eyes whenever we talk to them because those are the people that we looked up to when we were kids, kind of. Yeah. Um. I got some feedback also that um, for if this program will continue, you know, this is only a start and even Innovation Norway and the, the Minister of Culture and every, they are saying that we know that 10 million is not, not uh, enough, but it's more than zero. So I, I'm really hoping that this will continue and make uh, more games uh, international successes. Yeah, uh, yeah, I hope so because there's a lot of people I know, when, when we started out, there wasn't really a gaming industry in Norway at all. That's like, uh, I think it's like 10 years ago now. And uh, now it's like we're family because like console started and we started gathering and uh, like starting to talk to each other. And that's uh, before we were kind of locked into our bedrooms and working by ourselves. Yeah. But yeah, this is... This is what I wanted. I'm glad to hear. Mm. I really appreciate being in the program uh, with you. And uh, just uh, the next steps is that we are planning to do a trip to Finland and Sweden. And we are planning for some kind of event to teach the investors uh, or getting investors to teach our uh, local investors to, to about games and why they should invest. And of course, uh, keep learning from each other. And uh, I think one of the key benefits is that they are so open and asking for our advice. What do you want? And actually, the program is looks like a copy paste of what we delivered in a letter before they announced the program. So they are really open and forming the letting us form the program. Uh, so we have to create success stories to get, of course, uh, more funds to in continue and uh, even even larger and help more games succeed. And do you remember this one? Uh, lady is the Minister of Culture and uh, I asked her if she wanted to, to say something, uh, send a greeting to you and I'm gonna let her uh, finish this session and wanna thank you for listening. And let's listen to what the Minister of Culture has to say. Okay, we don't have Da vi sparket i gang pilotprosjektet Spill ut i verden i februar, sa jeg at dere er fremtiden. Det er dere fortsatt. Dere skaper mange av vår tids viktigste kulturuttrykk. Dere lager historiene som spillere får oppleve de neste ti årene. Regjeringen har lagt frem et kulturbudsjett der vil vi ha større satsing på kultur som næring. Vi vil styrke mulighetene for entreprenørskap i kultursektoren. Det er jo dere i spillbransjen god på. Det ligger et stort potensial i norsk dataspillnæring. Norsk spillerbransje vil kunne skape flere arbeidsplasser og kompetansemiljøer som kan bringe flere norske spill ut i verden. Vi ønsker å bidra til flere sånne suksesshistorier. Spillbransjen har vært i sterk vekst de siste årene, både kreativt og økonomisk. Denne høsten lanseres rekordmange spill som viser hele bredden av det som utvikles i Norge. Jeg ønsker dere lykke til med konsol 2016! Takk.